Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and you have some envelopes maybe hanging around, odd sizes. Uh, they don't match, they're all different, you don't know what to do, but you want to make something. Okay, so I'm going to challenge myself and you guys to see what we can make from three different sized envelopes. And I'm not, I didn't pre-think this, so I'm just, I just grabbed three envelopes and I tossed them down on the desk and let's see what we can make with them. I want to make one thing out of the three envelopes, that's the goal. Uh, it's just a fun challenge, just for fun. Uh, if you want, you can post uh, what you made on the Facebook group, the Paper Outpost Facebook group, to show us um, your creations. You'll probably come up with way more amazing stuff than me, but let's get to this. Oh, first of all, if you don't know, there is a Fundle Special, which is a collection of old and interesting papers. Um, in May 2023, you get a triple bonus with that, a um, book page that is 396 years old, um, a, vin a Victorian card and a vintage ticket. So those will automatically be included with any fundal purchase, May of 2023. You don't need a code, you don't need a coupon, it just magically appears in your package. Um, so there you go. All right, so back to the ta craft task at hand. Um, all right, so, um, I, like the easiest thing would be just to do this, and I've already done this in a video before, so I'm not gonna do that. I wanna do something different, because envelopes have so many possibilities. So let's just like think out of the box a little bit. Isn't that pretty? I love the inside of this. So I, I think I wanna have that show. And then I thought, instead of, I, I could glue this here and make it a pocket or a belly band, or so, there's so many different things, but I think what I would like to do is maybe turn it, do I wanna turn it upside down? Maybe. Maybe. First, I think I want to ink these envelopes because I have a feeling I'm going to be gluing stuff together. And I'm going to ink it in pink this time. I'm going, I'm going off the rails. We're, we're going to do a different color. Not always brown. This is Warren Lipstick Distress Oxide. Okay, here we go. Well, I, could, I could ink them all different colors. I could do that. Well, let's just, let's just keep it uniform. Oh, we don't want to go too hog wild, right? It is a Saturday and we, we need to contain ourselves. What? No. Do whatever you want. Don't listen to that crazy woman. Um, have fun. It's a nice idea to um, ink the edges of the entrance to the envelope. It highlights it, plus I just think it looks kind of cool. Um, this is sort of dry and not playing that well, so I'm going to give it a squirt of water. That's all I have in there. And let's see if we can breathe some life into it. I don't know if this one's drying out. I, I have used this one forever. Let's see if we get, yeah, all of a sudden we have impact. Impact has arrived. There's a lot of um, dried ink on the pad. Sometimes it just needs moisture to wake it back up. Could I do this side? I could. I could come and do this side because I don't exactly know if I'm going to glue this down or what. Let's, let's just get her done and so we're ready. And I'll, I'll try and remember to show, we'll put her in the journal that I'm um, playing with just so you can get an idea of what it might look like when it's done. Okay, so we did that one. Let's just do this one. We'll be complete. So I hope you're having a good crafty day. Are your papers calling? My paper is called. They said, come on over here and play with your papers. It keeps you off the streets, keeps you healthy, um, keeps you focused in the here and now, keeps you moving forward. And plus it's kind of like play. It's relaxing, it's zen. And um, I get to hang out with you guys, which is awesome. So there we go. It's, it's kind of weird in this um, disjointed um, internet world where, you know, here I am talking with you guys, hanging out, but you're not really here yet because this video hasn't even uploaded. So hopefully you'll be here tomorrow, which will be your today, and then we'll be hanging out, but I'll be doing something else. That's just kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah, I know, I know. Um, so it'll be Saturday. What will I be doing Saturday? Oh, my days are full. I can't even think Saturday yet. Anyway, I got a lot of errands to do today. Oh, going to yoga this morning. Yeah, got to decide to, uh, you know, it's very good if you're going to craft to do some stretching in other directions because you can get stuck. You know what I mean? You can get stuck in a position and that's not good. Okay. So I don't know. Maybe I will. And, and, and it could be, <clears throat> uh, just showing you the thought process, um, could be recessed into the borders of this one or it could hang lower. I kind of like the hang lower look. But I, I feel like, oh, I just want to do something different. Um, hmm, okay, thinking, thinking here. This might, we're like building something that, oh, what's that? I could do something like that. What is that? Nobody knows. But we could also take this one. We could fold it in half. Maybe it'll fit then. Yeah. 
Let me glue that. We could glue that there. That would be weird, but it would fit. But we could do that. So I'm just kind of trying to show you that there's a different things that you can do with these that don't necessarily follow the normal pattern. This is very not normal pattern. Um, let's just turn this around. See what else we could do if that was there. We could actually slide that entirely under there. Well, what good would that be if there's no pocket? We could make a pocket. Okay. We could, well, we could, we could do that. And there would be double pockets here. We could open that up. Is that glued? Yeah, that's solid. So we could open that up. Hmm. Having an idea here. Okay. Where's some scissors? Hello? Scissors? Any scissors will do. Okay, we have these. Okay. I don't know if this is a good idea, but we're, we're just going to try it. This is, okay, this is the open side. I'm putting that at the bottom. I have no idea what this is going to look like. Okay. And I'm just going to cut a wedge out of here. Let's see where this goes. On top or underneath? I want it to be contained inside. Maybe here. Okay, let's ink it up so we can get some definition. That kind of looks cool, doesn't it? I like that little look. All right, let me play with that for a second. I've never quite cut an envelope like that before. It's a new day with a new envelope experience. See, you can, there's always more ideas with the papers. You just got to sort of get your brain thinking in a different direction. Like, because if you always do it the same way, you're going to get the same results. And I don't know, for me, the fun comes in exploration, trying different things, goofing around, you know, if it doesn't work, fine. Yeah, it's only paper. Remember that. It's only paper. But you might inspire yourself. You might, hey, like you say, hey, this is a new thing. I've never done this before. Well, that's kind of a cool piece, isn't it? All right, all right. Let me just rearrange things here. Maybe I'm going to go back to this. Oh, that could be something. We could do something like that. I don't know. Whoops, sorry. Not showing you. Back up, back up him so they can see. That would be nice, right? You're trying to show them ideas. Okay. Could do something like that. Well, what is that? Nobody knows, but that whole thing could, could fold this up. Or we could just turn it over. Oh, that might work. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that, but I would like to go more off bizarre. I would like to go a little more bizarre. I think doing something like that, and maybe this is folded. Can we glue that onto there? Will that be inside? Okay. If I glue it on far enough, it will. I could put it in the middle. And then that would have a little flapper. And that would also open. That's kind of cool. That's different. We could do the staggered look. Oh, oh, wait. Wait. We can actually have it open. Oh, that would be kind of cool. But then it's low. But that, I don't know. There's something about that looks sort of staggery cool. Um, I'm going to do something like that. But then that would have to, that would have to open. That would fold over. You could put stuff in there. Let's try that. Okay, I'm getting a little, I'm going to give it a go. I'm just going in. Could be a disaster. Hang on to your hats. We don't know where this is going. I'm going to glue half of it. I'm going to commit to half. Let the exploration begin. Okay, I'm just going to put this down. Recessed in. Now I have a portal of entry here to place things. I have a portal of entry here to place things. So it's like a little fun conglomerate of whatnot, you know? Sometimes you just need a weird whatnot every once in a while. Nothing wrong with a weird whatnot. You, you gotta throw them. You know, you're, you're giving them the predictable as they're going through the junk journal and like, oh, that's cute, nice little pocket, nice little tuck. And all of a sudden, there's a whatnot. Yeah, and they're like, what, what, what's this? Or whatnot is this? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that can do that. That's okay. And that can, I'd like that to be inside. Okay, so do you see where you need to glue, Pam? No? Okay. I'm not going to move it. I'm going to just lift this. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue. Oh, I think this is the right space. I don't know. We'll just see. I think that's going to work. There. Okay, so now, as that's grabbing. Oh, Lordy May! There's bizarre things being created at the Paper Outpost today. This is weird. Okay, so this has a pocket here to the big inside. It's the upside down envelope, but then... If we do, be very careful with this. I just want to put a little glue here to glue that, and that gives me two more pockets. If I put the whole glue down here, this pocket will be limited because then it won't go down further. So that's my theory. I'm just going to put a little glue there. Just, just, just a little. Just to tack that down. Okay. 
So now, oh, my stomach's gurgling. I hope you couldn't hear that. Um, so there we have this little construct. All right. So now let's, let's see what we can do with it. Let's decorate it up a little bit. Just grab anything, Pam. Okay. What's here on your desk? We still have from the other day, because we didn't clean up, the punched drawer. So let's pull out some punchy things from here. Oh, I'm seeing a pretty butterfly. That's pretty. Oh, I like that. I remember we're going to put that there, but maybe we want to nestle it on something. Nothing wrong with a good nestle, you know? Oh, that's pretty too. That's very nice. Okay, here's what somebody gave this to me because I don't have that cutting machine. It's like, probably a cricket. Um, nom, 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 nom. I'm just going to take my time here and find something that's really pretty. Oh, we have this word love. That's really nice, isn't it? Oh, we could put that on there. That would look really cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is going to be, I have to do this gingerly because it's a very delicate piece. And um, just put it on there. And if you don't have the cricket, you could find a word in um, a book and cut it out. That would be neat. Okay, how about that? That's very pretty. Oh, I like that because of the contrast. That looks great, right? Yay. All right. Oh, my God. My stomach is so rumbly right now. Um, these are very pretty leaves. I like that somebody gave me these. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? I'll do something like that. Mm, I'll turn this over. I like that side maybe better. Yeah, I kind of like that. That's pretty. Oh, we also have these. We could like look. Oh, that's pretty. Is that, I don't know. I just like that. Let's do that. I think I need to ink this. Okay, I'm going to bring out the vintage photo. Where are you? Apparently, I do need the brown. Sorry. Yep. I'm going to bring it out. Hopefully, still have enough juice in there. I need to create a little more contrast on the back side of this one. So you don't always have to use the face up side. You could turn it over and see what color you have on there. Sometimes you just need a, a neutral or a blank or something like that. When, and this gives you... Um, you have options. That's what I'm trying to say. Sometimes just turn your piece over. So this isn't going to be removable. This is just a decoration. I just put that there. Okay. And then we have this guy, which is the same color as that guy. So we'll put him. All right. Maybe. Oh, I should, probably should have stuck him in there first. Oh, we got a little room. Okay. Oh, everybody's moving. Don't be moving on me. Okay. That's kind of cute though. All right. There. Maybe a little more like that. Okay. You're in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you talk to them, they play nicer. They do. They listen. Yeah. So don't ignore your papers. You can have full on, full on conversations with them and just uh, have a grand time. Um, all right, here we go. And there we go. Okay. Um, okay. Can you totally tell this whole thing is totally off the top of my head? Because it is. And, and that's how I craft, kind of. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, what, right there? No, maybe too pale. Maybe too pale. Okay, so we decorated that all up nice. What about that side? You want something there, right? Okay. Oh, no, let's let me get so it's even and flush, Pam. I can't, I can't. Okay, that, that would be nice, but it's not the right size. Um, no. Sometimes you have to try things on for size. Okay, so I'm rummaging in the punched bucket. I have something maybe, what do we got here? got some like little just things I punched out at some point or somebody punched out at some point it's so very cute that's a cute little I think it's a koala or is it a bear a, I don't know what it is but it's very cute you might go there that might be nice but something like that with a white butterfly on that would be nice too um let's see oh there's a there's a uh, that looks like a wax seal um that might be cool I don't know. I haven't. I haven't committed yet. I'm in the land of non-commitment. Oh, we have this. It's a nice color. That looks very nice right there. I think we found our our little happy piece. Yes, yes, we did. We found a happy piece. Here's a little piece of wax paper somebody cut out for me. That's kind of cool. It's, it's amazing that that can cut. I wonder if I should layer that. Maybe I should. Just layer it for fun. I mean, it doesn't show up that well on the camera, but it, should, it looks nice on the. Maybe not enough contrast. Never mind. Back in the bucket you go. We find something else. Mm, these are cool. These are like old labely things. That's kind of neat. Mm. Try something like that, maybe. See if that fits. There. I, I kind of like that. I don't know. It's just got contrast, and it's kind of cool. It's old. It's vintage. All right, we'll just put a little contrast on it with the vintage photo. The brown of the day, because it was within arm's reach. Yes, yes, I do still have walnut stain. It's just over there. He's over there. Okay, I'm just gonna use, uh, this has a gluey stick on the back, but I don't feel like licking it. And it's probably some toxic chemical from days gone by. Could have made a little pocket here, that would have been cute too, but too late. Um, 
you don't have to over pocket yourself. You know, you could just like get whatever's comfortable for you. Remember, every time you put a pocket and you put something in it, things are going to get a little chubbier. That's the way it goes. Yeah. Just like your jeans. Stuff your pockets. You're going to look chubbier. All right. Here we go. Very cute, right? Okay. So what about this area here? Well, we can still stick more little... Um, this is cool. I love these. Somebody gave me these. They're like coffee filter thingies. Um, oh, you're gluing together. Now, no, don't be doing that now. Don't be doing it. I'll stick that. Then you totally can't see anything. Here, I'll stick one of those in there. That's kind of cool. I don't mind if it folds a little. That's all right. I like that. Um, looking over here again. What do we got? Like a million options. A million. All right, here we go. Here's a swirly. We've got a swirly. What's this? Oh, this has got the similar colors. We like that. Yeah, maybe we could put that there. That would look cute, right? Oh, that looks so nice there. Let's just do it. If you get that, oh yeah, feeling, just do it. Just do it. Just don't, don't get caught up in, oh, it's not the theme. It's not this and that. It's okay if one piece is a little different. Yep, it is. Yep, I said it. It's okay to go off theme. I, I rarely do theme because I like to just do whatever comes across my little, my little um, two neuron brain here. Oh, this is cute. Look at that. Made that a while back. It's just a little cluster of something. Um, oh, look, he's sticking again. Don't be sticking. I'm going to stick you in here. Put you in that way. Because you're going to fold over and then you'll peek out. Okay, that's good. And um, maybe what's that? Oh, that's interesting. Somebody gave me this. This is cool. Somebody made this. This is awesome. It's like a, it reminds me of Monty Python or Steampunk or something like that. These little, they use brads. We have to try something like that. I've never done that. But um, isn't that cute? That's so cute. So maybe I, if I can get her to fold up, she looks very limber. Yes. If I can get her to fold up, maybe I can put her in the big pocket. Because she's kind of cute. There we go. Her leg's sticking out. Yeah, her head popping up. Okay, get in there. Get in there, Sally. All right. I'm in. Okay, she's in. Good. Um, you are now part of the, the process. Okay, so we have this little girl. I think she's cute. That might be something fun to find in here. Oh, maybe we'll put her here. Yeah, I think she would like to be on display. Yes, I would like to be on display. Okay, very well. You are now on display. Okay, let's give a little glue. This is Fabrifix glue. If anybody's wondering, in case you didn't know, I just popped these out. It looks like she had little areas to be popped. I did not pop them. Okay. Mm. And oh, what's that? I saw something cool. Where? Come back. You know, you know, you like flipping through stuff and you can't find it again. Okay, are you gone forever? Yeah, you're. You're gonna hide yourself from me. Fine. I don't want you. I don't need you anymore. I'll find somebody else to play with. Look, I found you. This little thing I made. I just punched out some circles and then covered them with something pretty. And uh, I don't know. Oh, let's see. Where would you go? Here? No. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it. It was that other piece that I really wanted to find. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I'm here. Nope. Doesn't want to play. That's fine. I, I, it's all right. Oh, I got a little bird. That would be cute. I'll put you on there. Um, yeah, because you're not brown. There might be. Now you're not the right color. A gift from the heart. This must have been cut out from something. No, no. Here? No. Okay, this is how it is. You just try things on for size. Oh, these are cute. These little, these are like punched out tags or something. I don't know. It's kind of cute. I like that there. Maybe I'll put that there. I don't know what it is, but we'll just glue it down. It looks like a little tag of some sort. It's just cute as a button. And, and you can go as long as you want doing this stuff. Just layering it up, having fun. Enjoying your day. Life is good. Look at this, some cute little ones. These are so neat. Do we need one here? Maybe. Okay, you stay there. You stop gluing together. Maybe, oh, that, that's totally cute, isn't it? Let's just do that. So sometimes you don't know until you, you put stuff around and say, do I like that? And it's fun to work on these little tiny projects because they're just, they're plum fun. They're plum fun. What are you little, where'd you go? I just had you in my hand. How could you disappear? How about you? You're not doing anything over there. Let me put you there. Yeah, we could do you. Maybe make you a little brown on the edges. 
I'll give you a little contrast. Wake you up a little bit. Get you noticed. Put on your, your fresh and frilly. So maybe somebody will ask you to the dance. Huh? Maybe somebody will ask you. All right. There we go. Um, oh, we have a, this is a fake Scrabble thingy. I don't know. I, I think it was like from arts and crafts or something, like an like arts store or something. But aren't they cool? They're just really thin and you can use them in your designs. Let's see if we can find a special spot for you. Maybe here? No. Here though. Maybe there. That might be a good spot. All right. Let's give you a little browning. Brown you up a little bit. Just give you a little extra. And put you on. So it's fun when you have these little pieces, these little ditties. You can, you can do stuff with them. There you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, see that it shows. That's cute. Let's put you just north a little bit so you peek right up without interference. I don't get glue smudge. Now, if you get in there early enough, you can roll the glue smudge off if you're lucky. And if it smudges, then you, you work it into your design. Like you come along, you make it like you, you, you tried to do it. Yeah, like there I was. That's what I was doing. I was making it look older, right? Yep. Okay. So uh, maybe now some time for a little bit of rubber stamping. We could do that. Now this cute little girl. Mm, let's see. I think she would like. Okay, we're going to give her a bird and some twiggage. All right. And maybe we'll do it in black. Let's get black. Where's black? Okay, here's brown, pink. Oh, there's black. Get everybody organized. All right. Well, this is black. It's black soot. In case anybody wonders. Okay, let's see. Bird, you'll always look at your stamp because sometimes that little line is unreliable. The line usually tells you where the bottom of the picture is, but I don't think that's the right bottom. So we're going to look at it, put our bird in the orientation we want, and hope, yeah, there, the bird is in the right orientation now. We'll just give him some, got to look at this orientation too. You want to be standing on some, oh, look at that, he's just perfect. He's standing on a little fluff. We'll give you some more um, fluff to stand on because, you know, maybe you're, you're trying to eat and then you want a little, uh, you can you can extend your fluff. Oh, I got the circle. You know, that happens sometimes. Um, let me go a little closer so you can see my disaster happening here. Um, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, there. And just like a little, oh yeah. All right, so what can we do? Well, we can, we can hide stuff, right? And we could, we could glue that there. I can't see it. All right, let's just put that there. That's the easiest way out of stuff like that. Uh, uh, you know, if it doesn't bother you, um, just ignore it. If it bothers you, cover it up. Um, maybe we'll put this little leaf here. We could make a little collage on this side because we can, because it's our paper. Okay, you're pretty too. Maybe we'll ink you up a little bit. Make you a little butterfly. There'll be like lots of nature and stuff in this little thing that we're making here. It has no real definition other than being cute and adorable and just fun to hang out with. Um, explore. I like explore stuff. I do. I, I like explore stuff. All right. So we have your, your decorated. Um, it's nice to have a little plain space for the eye rest, but you don't have to. I mean, if you want to ha keep having fun, just keep having fun. Like this is the cutest little peg stamp. I get mine from Nora Jane on Etsy. I have no affiliation. I just like her stamps. Um, but I think I'm going to you can do like, oops, that didn't quite go as planned. Um, never does. Let's go a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. Trying to draw a straight line, but it's not coming out straight. But I think a little uh, daisy chain of posies. Oh, he's not, not even close to a straight line because um, I keep turning my hand. Um, it's just like a cluster of posies at the bottom of this on the ground. She's apparently levitating because she's very talented. Yes, yes. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, back it up. Okay, so we have that. And that's good. We like that. Oh, you know what we could do? This would be cute. Okay, I'm going to really try to stay straight. Okay, don't move your... Just get one down. Okay. Oh, it's crooked already. Okay, so we're just going to... We're going to... No, that's not even close. Um, it's going to be another posy chain of wiggling origin. Is this who he's going? But I'm going to emphasize the shape um, of this little, very awesome, very cool little envelope edge, which I think is so fun. 
Okay. And I think, there, I like that. That just gives it enough, just enough. Do we want more? <laughs> we could, we could. All right. Well, just, uh, what's that? Oh, maybe one of those. That would kind of go. Now it's too bulky. All right. Um, where, where, I was going to go do something. Why, where was I going? I have no idea now. I was going to get something. Oh, I know what I was going to get. Okay, there's something to put in there. That little, oh, oh my foot is sore. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I've been playing pickleball lately and... Uh, Sore foot. Okay, so a good day to take off and do yoga. Uh, this is a piece of um, bold calligraphy ledger. Oh, somebody was sick. I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, but this is departed as sick. Or maybe, re I don't know. The guy got in trouble. Reported. Reported as sick. Um, yeah, poor guy. All right, you're going in there. You're going in because I think you're going to fit and you're going to be something fun to find. There we go. So it's like a little secret note in there. Somebody can explore. Now here, we have two things in there. That's good. These are available pockets, so... Um, I'm going to put that in there. And maybe this one in here. I don't want to hide those too much because I really like the way that looks. But that kind of goes with the design. So I've got two things in there. You don't have to fill every pocket. It's not mandatory. And we have something in there. So we are good. So there you go. Um, do I want to put something there? Maybe. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's kind of cool. We could layer it. No, don't like that. Could layer it with a black thingy. That would be really cool, but that's bigger than our needs, right? Does it matter? It might, because it might interfere. Yeah, okay. Out you go. Um, what about just a big blue? It doesn't make any sense with this color theme. Um, oh, just something simple like that. That's kind of cool. This is just a cut off piece of whatnot. Let's just ink it up. Give it some, some make me look old. And you could turn it into a, I guess I did something out of this. I'm never going to use this. So there, you're going to now be the backside of glory. <laughs> I have the backside of glory on here. Okay, we're going to put you there. Very nice. Give you a little focal point. And we could put a little white butterfly on there. We could do that. Let's give it something. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. In the corner, the center. You need to be inked. I hear you. I hear you. And now you are officially inked. There we go. All right, so we have this little odd thing that opens up in many ways. There you go. Just a different way to use envelopes. A little non-traditional, just fun, just playing with bits and bops and collages. And I said I was going to show you in a journal, so how on earth would I... Because this journal is long, but now I, I'm, 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 I gotta show you because it's a thing now. What are you guys doing in there? I don't know. Um, okay, that's got envelopes on it already. What about here? Let's see. I did decorate you there. You stick out. I could do this, but then you would stick out. <clears throat> I foibled myself. You will not fit in here. Say it isn't so. Well, I could just make it a removable then. How about that? You grab an old altered paper clip and your sweating days are over because everything is good oh this is a pretty one i remember making this one with you guys this was the fabric altered paper clips yeah you just tuck it in and and for me it's okay if something sticks out i kind of like that bunched look like there's a bunch of stuff sticking out like oh what's that i wonder what that is so people will get curious about what that is so i'm rolling with it it's sticking out and it's okay maneuver on this one so there you go. I hope you like that. That was fun to make. Um, son, do you have a word? I have a word. I, I have several words. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm levitating out of my basket. And I'm coming over here. Now I'm over here. Hello, everybody. It's sunshine. Yes, I'm here. <coughs> a little public service announcement today. <coughs> okay, here we go. Okay, so um, went to the park. I... Chased every squirrel that I saw back into his tree. They are all now in their trees. They are not mucking about. They are in their trees, thanks to me. Um, I met a lot of other dogs. It, they were all very nice and very pleasant. We sniffed. We said hello. I was a little skittish. They were really big. and um, But I was okay. I, I held my ground. And I didn't flinch. 
Well, except when I was skittish. But I, I, I gave him my best white steel look. Here it is. Oh, not bomb. Put the ears back. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. This is my, this is my white steel look. And um, that's it. That's all I got to say. We went to the park. It was awesome. Oh, we went to the car wash and it was closed. Yeah, it was closed. Sonny was all excited to go through the swishies and watch it and all the excitement. And there was nothing. It was a big flub. But I forgave mom and she said she'll do it again. Okay, that's very good. Thank you. Yes, we need to get the car washed. It's, it's dirty. There you go, folks. So remember, I've got a fundle special. You'll get a triple bonus automatically. No code, no coupon required. Just buy it in May of 2023. And it will automatically come included in your package. The 396-year-old book page from 1627. And the Victorian card and the... I'm like cracking my knuckles. Um, vintage ticket. So there you go. Um, my, I have a newsletter that comes out. It, you get a free digital image. If you sign up for my free monthly emailed newsletter, you get, um, that will be emailed to you every month. It's at the bottom of the newsletter. You get a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, and a, and a page list of ideas on how to break a blank page. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Audio material, and then the other days, video podcasts can be watched on Spotify. Etsy, you're going to find journals, bundles, and kits when I have them available. I also sell digikits, which are printable, downloadable images that you can use to make junk journals. There's five pages of images in each themed uh, set, and there's over 200 sets now, so jump on over to my Etsy shop and check that out. Um, I do also sell fundals, I told you about that, and I have a print and mail service. If you like the printables ideas, but you don't like to print, I will print 10 digikits for you. I do them in packs of 10, it makes more sense with the free priority mail shipping. <clears throat> you get 50 printed pages, just give me the names of the digikits, I only need the first two or three words, you don't need to buy each individual digikit. Um, just buy the print and mail option and then send me the, your list of 10 digit names to pam at the paper outpost.com or through Etsy message and then I will print those out and mail them to you. You can also say surprise me and I will just uh, curate a beautiful list for you of popular ones and I will send that off to you. So I also have an Amazon shop. If you're looking for favorite tools and supplies, you'll find links in there. That does help me and my shop, but it does not cost you more to buy those items by using my links. And also I have a t-shirt shop if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. Hey, hey, you can get a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip hoodie, mug toter, water bottle, great gift giving idea for yourself, friends or family or other crafters. You can find me on Instagram Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group, the Paper Outpost Facebook group. Having fun over there doing weekly and mon monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos. So I challenge y'all to make, take three different sized envelopes or whatever you have and just make something out of it and see what, how you put it together because there's a million and one ways to do this. And also um, remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye.